Coach mentioned during his presser that in a game like this, he was just a, just a little bit concerned about guys gripping the sticks a little too much um, in that third period, a little bit of pushback from Paris. Does that kind of creep in your mind a little bit? Um, yeah, I think a little. Obviously, we had 60 plus shots and we only had one goal. So I think, I mean, some guys might have been gripping the stick a little hard, too hard, but I think we were still there throughout the whole game, like sticking with it. We got good shots. We just weren't fortunate to get the goals tonight. But um, yeah, their pushback obviously made us push back a little harder because one one game, we knew we had to fight back. So as a player, is it frustrating facing a boy like that and just having a game in his life? Yeah. When he's standing on his head like that, it's pretty frustrating because we're playing well and we're doing everything except scoring goals. So it's pretty frustrating. but. Um, coach said, "Stick with it," and worked out in the end. Raymond, how do you fight that? You know, that desire. It's like holding macro. How do we beat it? How do you fight that? Um, I think we just stick to our systems. Don't really overthink it. It's still just a hockey game. Play hard, get pucks to the net. Just don't overthink it. I'd tell me if you would agree with this. That was then that overtime goal is a perfect example of that. You can't. You're not overthinking. Yeah. Kind of rushing the net, right? Yeah, that was just a simple play. Get the puck up to Mitch, two on one, um, off the pad, and then fortunate to land on my stick. So yeah, yeah just simple plays. And how are you able to get the uh, first goal that you scored there? Um, I don't really know how it got to me. I was just skating up the ice after I gave it to the Spees, and puck just trickled out, and I was just by myself, fortunate, and just shot it upstairs. Brandon, what's the emotion after this win? I mean, the coach talked about it's almost like relief because you play, you get so many shots, you get so many chances, and you're struggling, and you find a way to, to get that goal. What, in your eyes, what's the feeling? Yeah, I think it's relief. I think it's um, a lot of excitement, obviously, because this is a huge game. Playoffs, it's a different level. Um, lower at, like, every single team is going to bring their top game. So um, I think we just stuck with it. And yeah, all the guys are really excited, and it's a huge relief off our shoulders. And what do you need to do to uh, keep the MMM going uh, tomorrow? Uh, yeah, we're going to keep going tomorrow, um, just play our same ways, and hopefully uh, more shots will go in the net. Sorry, Is that the biggest goal you've ever scored? Um, yeah, probably one of them. I think last year in junior, some have scored like with like .01 seconds left, sent to overtime, but if, uh, yeah, it's probably the biggest goal so far. And I know you faced Ferris at their place, but we were talking about it. This is kind of their style of hockey. Is jam up the neutral yeah. zone while you may get shots you're not getting a lot of goals and is it what's the feeling then of coming through and getting a win even though it's like you know what they got the game they wanted and we still got the win yeah um obviously yeah they put up a fight the whole game they're a tough team to play against they jam up pucks like you said and yeah it's just a huge relief um knowing that with their best game we can still compete against them and then put up the win